Hey my little sunshines, what up? It's your girl Brooke here and I'm in the process of buying a home. Um, I kind of want to take you on the journey with me. So these are a couple clips from when we made a secret trip up to see the house and stuff. I didn't take any videos of the house, but I took some like driving on the way to get there. Um, we love the house so much. I loved the house so much that I put in an offer on it. So yeah, it's, it was so exciting. It was such a cool little secret trip. Nobody knows about it. Um, we haven't told a bunch of people yet because we're just kind of waiting for some things to officially be settled. But yeah. So yeah. Hey, my little sunshines. Guess what? I got approved. Um, I got approved for the house. <laughs> I'm buying a house. I've never been so excited. I can't talk really loud, so I hope you're able to hear me. I have family over tonight that don't know about it. It's so exciting, and I leave for vacation in the morning. <laughs> so, we did a bunch of emails today um, with the house stuff, Just trying to figure out um, who for to do our inspection. And I got a hold of some guy, and he's charging us a lot less money than the other guys were. The one guy was unavailable. One guy never emailed me back. One guy's rate was way expensive, and the other guy was affordable. So, I'm freaking excited about that. So, yeah. Um, we're trying to set it up for the middle of this week, and I think my dad's actually going to go up so he can be there for the inspection. And so, yeah, I'm just freaking excited. Things are coming together. So, yeah. Update on the house situation. The inspection did not go as we thought it would. There were all kinds of things that needed to be updated. And even when I mentioned a couple of the things to my um, realtor, she made it out to be like, ah, oh, that's just your problem. Instead of like making sure it was fixed. So we decided to terminate that. And I think we're in the process of finding a new realtor as well. That's what we were going to do. So my parents went up to see my grandparents this weekend for grandma's birthday. And while they were there, you won't believe what happened. Okay. Honestly, while they were there, they got to talking and my aunt Vicky, um, a house that she lived in at one time, no longer, but it's like a couple blocks from where she lives is up for sale for super cheap. So they went to check it out and it was a total dud, did not work. It was like beyond small, um, not good for what we're looking for. But the realtor that was there, he gave us all kinds of information. So yeah, and he's going to be getting back in contact with me on Monday and we're moving forward. Um, we've had some ups and downs and we thought it was kind of over, but I have, I had to reapply because of some issues that I will not get into. Um, but yeah, so everything should be going well and I should hear something on Monday. So that's exciting. So yeah, so even though the one house that I was like in love with fell through, I think that was God's way of telling us that there's something better out there for us. And yeah, so let's just cross our fingers, say a prayer, and maybe things will go how we want. Um, more news on the house is that we have now actually been approved. So that's exciting. Um, we're still trying to find a house. We found a few we really like. We just need to like see them in person. And did anything else happen? Oh, the Walmart up there, I'm in the process of a transfer and that should be going through. There should be no issues with that. I'm just waiting to hear back from their HR department. So, yay, things are looking up. Um, yeah, so I didn't hear back yesterday, but I heard back today on Tuesday. So, I heard back from both places today, which is exciting. And, yeah, so this is just all amazing. So, um, 
We don't have very long to find a place, but we're going to make it all work out. Guys, so um, I heard back from that Walmart and I finally have an exact start date that I have to call them and tell them about um, on Monday because today my mom video chatted me and her and dad went to look at a house that we found online and guys, it's perfect. Um, while she was video chatting me, like FaceTiming me, I was like, I want this house and I want it now. It's been on the market for four days. So we put down some earnest money and we offered full price and we started signing papers. So all that has to happen is the guy has to accept the offer. Um, I've already emailed the mortgage lender, Deb, some important information she needs. And yeah, we're literally going to have a house, y'all. Um, if it goes through, which I'm sure it will, we, um, we have to hurry up because I have to move soon. So yeah, that's just a lot's happening and I'm very excited and I just wanted to inform you. So yeah. Eee! I'm so excited. I keep like getting ideas in my head of what I want to do in the house. So yeah, it's going to be great. I'll update you as the process goes through. Hey, my little sunshines, what up? So last night I spent uh, time packing. I packed up all my angels. Uh, there's like three boxes of them. Then I packed the rest of my books. Um, but I'm about to go pack part of my room. So we shall see how that goes. But yeah, it's just, that's what's happening right now. Packing my life away in cardboard boxes is exciting and exhausting at the same time. Hey, sunshines, little sunshines, let's update you. Um, the house moving along is going wonderful. Um, we have signed all the documents. We've sent in all the stuff that needs to be sent in. Um, we've been going through the process. Um, we've officially been approved and yeah, I don't know what else they need. Next is closing. So they're in the process of gathering all the documents and getting all the info they need and, you know, doing all the like businessy stuff on their side. And yeah, I've just been signing my life away and packing it into totes and cardboard boxes and all that fun jazz. My room's pretty much packed, so that's exciting. And yeah, here we are. I moved in like, I can't do the math, but I move on Halloween, so that's not too far away. Um, let's see, seven, eight, is it eight days away? Eight or nine days and I move. I've got lots to do between now and then, but I'm excited. It's empty, y'all. There's like nothing. Like all my walls are bare. There's just like some stuff in the floor. My closet's pretty empty. Like we're cleaning this crap out. One last look around my room. It's been mine. It's all empty. But it's been mine for however long Alan and Evan have been married. Six years? Five years? Six years? It's been mine. <sighs> I'm leaving the house I've been in for the last 11 years. I'm leaving a room I've been in for the last give or take six years. I'm leaving a job that I've been at for the last four years. My life's changing, guys. Tomorrow's it. I move tomorrow. I've been talking about this for days, and it's here. Tomorrow, I move. I'll have a new room. It'll be at my grandparents' house. I'm going to be there for two weeks. And then my parents will be up there. And we'll get the keys to the house, and we'll move into the house. I don't know how it all works. I'm nervous. I'm anxious. I'm excited. And I start my new job on Tuesday. So that's exciting and scary. And it'll all go by so fast. But yeah. This is it. This is it. My last night. In this room. In this bed. In this house. In Kentucky. It won't be my last time being in Kentucky. It will be my last time living here. 31 years. It's odd. I feel odd. I feel lots of emotions. 
Hey, my little sunshines. So let me give you a quick update on the house. Um, uh, as you can see, I'm in a completely different space right now. I've been living with my grandparents um, since Halloween. Yeah, I moved in with them on Halloween. I've been here ever since. Um, it's a lot to take in. There's a lot going on. Work's been a lot. But I'm just trying to get acquainted with everything in the store and with the people and the way things are done there. Um, and it just takes a lot of effort and time. And then we were supposed to close on my house on the 13th, which was today, Friday. And I think it was on Tuesday. I got a phone call saying that wasn't happening. We were not closing and it wouldn't be for another week. Well, I had a complete meltdown. I broke down. I sobbed. I cried. It was awful. And I was at work. So I was like, I have to do it in secret, you know? <laughs> so that was fun. Um, and then my mom and dad decided to make a surprise visit up here to see me. And so they came for a little quickie trip and I got to see them. And me and mom went and bought a lot of really cute stuff for the house. So I can't wait to show you all that at some point. But yeah, um, so I thought I was going to have to wait until like the 20th to close on my house. And instead, we're closing on the 17th. So it just got pushed like four days. But in my head, it was going to be pushed seven. And my emotions overtook me the day I found all that out. But we close on the house on Tuesday. So I can't wait to give you like an empty house tour and like show it to you. It's going to be fun.